And talking of world premieres, a film called 28K will be screened tonight as part of the festival, and it stars a young woman who we, I guess, best know from Bendy Like Beckham. And then, of course, medical drama ER. We are talking about the one and only Parminda Nagra. Parminda, first of all, good morning and welcome to the BBC Asian Network. Thank you very much. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. <laughs> Let's talk about this movie that's going to be screened. Yep. Uh, you play a fashion executive called Diva Jani. Yes. How did this role come about for you? I basically was approached um, by the, the people who wanted to make the movie and I found out that uh, Paul Abbott had uh, and uh, Jimmy Dowdle um, were a big part of writing the project and um, I just came on board and I, I was just excited to firstly do something with, with someone like Paul Abbott um, and again to do something with a really you know strong female lead um, type situation very very different from Bendit in, in that respect but but still really strong so um, I, that's sort of how it came about really and mm. uh, you know timing and all of that sort of stuff so it was just right for you at that time yeah yeah, yeah. now your character Diva uh, based in Paris uh, is forced to return home after her brother is arrested for a shooting. Yes, and there's lots of, um, you know, it's a bit of a twisty, turny thriller in that sense because um, everybody that you think is, you know, is, is in one way inclined it ends up not being what you think, you know, who you think they are. Um, so I, I think people are going to watch the film and uh, constantly just keep being surprised by... Well, what sort of genre does it fall under? Is it, uh, is it uh, one of those spy thrillers or is it... It's sort of like, I don't know if you remember The Long Good Friday, um, it's that sort of feel and, mm. and, and, and some of the things um, that, uh, you know, that happened in 28K, um, you know, was sort of inspired by that film. So it's very sort of stylistically even, it's very much like that. So it's... You know, it's a, it's it's a thriller um, along the veins of of something like that. You know, uh, I love a, a film that's got a really clever plot to it, mm -hmm. uh, and it, those are the type of movies that I think most people enjoy because you're sitting there and you are part of the investigation. You're right. trying to figure out who's who, yes. and who's on the right side, and who the real enemy is. Right, and just when you think you know who it is, <laughs> exactly, uh, it, it all changes again, and you're off on another ride. So um, I, I think people are gonna you know enjoy you know being challenged by that i think and trying to figure out you know what the hell is going on <laughs> as, as an actor how difficult was it to 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 play this role because it sounds very intense um it was you know the challenge was really you know when you're in something like that and you're nearly in like all the scenes it, it's just making sure that you're plugging in to you know to the right parts of the story and that you're you know you're you're pacing it correctly so th those were sort of some of the challenges but um it, it's you know i had a great time doing it and um you know it, it was it was a lot of fun in that respect i suppose this is a bit of a cliche question but we don't seem to see many asian or desi faces uh, in mainstream cinema no. uh, is that changing i mean are 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 the studios, are the filmmakers opening up to the idea that there are other people living in the same There's world? There are other ethnicities in yes. the world. Um, I, I think so. You know, I'm seeing more and more, you know, Asian faces on, um, especially even in, in the States, you know, on, on sitcoms and, you know, and and, then, and people within their own right, um, you know, comedians. Uh, there's Mindy Kaling in the US just got her own show, which is called The Mindy Project. There's, oh, love that. There's Aziz Ansari, yeah. who's, you know, a, you know, a very well-known comic over there. But it's just, you know, it's happening. And, um, you know, like you said, you know, also, you know, that was the other draw to doing something like this as well. You know, having a, you know, not only are you playing a secret sleuth, you know, you're playing, you know, it's an Indian woman at the heart of that. And I don't think you see that very often. So that's you nice don't, you don't. Yeah. And, and of course, uh, the way we've got to look at this is that uh, perhaps the ethnic minorities in general expected too much too soon. Maybe this was going to happen anyway, in the same way Afro-Caribbean people are doing extremely well in cinema at the moment because they've been around a lot longer in the Western world. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, there's, you know, it, the debate just, you know, I think it's forever going to be there. And, um, you know, this... Uh, 
Yeah. No, they, I mean, it, I think it was Idris. I'm not sure if it was Idris. I don't even want to say now who it was, but somebody was talking about the fact that, you know, hence there's a lot of people who have gone to the States to do work because, you know, of the type of work that is being done in the UK, that, that sometimes you don't have the opportunities that you might have if you go somewhere like that, which is a shame. Have you, but... have you found yourself turning down roles where you thought, no, actually, I'm being type typecast because I am Indian looking. Uh, I'm being offered roles where, you know, you're offered a role of a doctor or a shopkeeper, one yeah. of those, you know, you know the, 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 the stereotypical roles. Yeah, I mean, I've been lucky in that sense that, you know, even though, like, obviously playing a doctor on ER and, you know, and more recently sort of like this, like, weird sort of scientist-type person on Alcatraz, um, it, it, you know, it, I people sort of managed to sort of take me on in a role and and do something else with it like I feel like it sort of it goes a little bit further or goes a little bit beyond you know and um you know it's just you just got to be in there having the discussions um and and giving your point of view Absolutely. and, and be, not be part of the process yeah be part of the process yep. and not go well you know why are they just writing this for me I think you just have to really get involved uh, of course, the, the, the movie Twenty. By the way, why is it called Twenty Eight K? Twenty Eight K. There was a there was a gang um, that was called Fourteen K, and um, uh, they just doubled it, didn't and they? And they doubled it because right. it was double the strength, so okay. they made it Twenty Eight K. But um, you know, it's uh, you know the film has some gang elements to it, and um, you know, so hence why you know we've got 28 okay and it's on tonight as part of the east end film festival tell us a bit more about this festival because it's supposed to be one of the biggest ones in europe isn't it it is and you know i actually i'll be honest with you i hadn't heard too much about it before and 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 then obviously you know hearing that wow you know it is and um you know because even when we did i'm not quite sure even the age of it to be honest with you but because when we did bend it um uh, you know, it, it opened in Sundance, so I didn't have the experience of doing even something like that then. But um, it is supposed to be one of the biggest, and uh, I can't wait to be there tonight and just to see, um, you know, see what's happening and, and see how people enjoy the film. It's uh, It should be really cool. Well, I tell you what, we'll talk a bit more about the movie, and also we'll talk about a bit about your early life as well, because you've had a, a, a fascinating uh, <laughs> past, past life, uh, the, the way you got into cinema and all the rest of it. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to you about that straight after a bit of this. Now, this is going to be very familiar to you. <laughs> do, you do you still get a little emotional when you hear that? Do you know what? It, do, yeah, I mean, it really reminds me of the movie. It, it, I mean, it just take, takes you back, doesn't it? It does. And, and also, th this is one of those songs that people use in their uh, wedding films and at, uh, <laughs> at weddings generally. It's very emotional. It's a bit where the, the daughter is about to go away forever. I know. I know. Let's enjoy this and we'll talk some more. Great. That's